and uh, welcome to, well, this video. Hi, hi, Kitty. This is, uh, well, this is going to be my kind of my thoughts on what we saw at the Xbox event, specifically about Halo Infinite. Uh, some pretty interesting thoughts. Hi, Kitty. Come here, Kitty. <laughs> Say hi, Kitty. There you go. Um, so, honestly, I'm kind of excited. I'm pretty excited. Some little niggles about the presentation that they showed off, but I can forgive that. The Mjolnir Exosuit so, is yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to see how they take it from here. Now, I'm going to start off with my thoughts on the Discover, you know, the, the, the CGI trailer that they did at the start. It, uh, it was interesting. Cats are being cats. The uh, Dr. Halsey, I presume, talking about her the thoughts on the armor and stuff. Really cool how they showed off how the armor was put together, which is something that they haven't really done a huge amount of about the Mjolnir armor that the Spartans wear. Uh, they showed that to a degree with the Spartan Ops, the, the Mjolnir armor Gen 2 that the Spartan 4s wear. But overall, we've never really seen... At least in the game, at least of the modern stuff. I think they, in the uh, Halo uh, Fall of Reach animated series, they showed off some of the. how the armor was put together, but I'd have to rewatch that to be sure. Uh, overall, interesting trailer, but ultimately not that important. What uh, is very important, however, is the Halo Infinite gameplay demo. Even though it says eight minutes on their video, it's actually only like four and a half minutes of gameplay. Uh, the rest of it is actually in-game cutscenes, I presume. Uh, the uh, I'm interested to see how the Bro Hammer, the the Pelican Pilot's character, develops over the course of the game. Obviously, apparently the uh, Discover Hope trailer is set on a very early part of the game, probably like the very beginning of the game when the pilot guy discovers Master Chief and they've stated that this section of the demo is set in about like the midway point of the game or several hours into the game at least so that would be pretty interesting uh, the, the the gunplay looked very much like Halo uh, I didn't notice any aim down sights or anything like that uh, as far as I can tell Proper Halo shooting is back. None of the enemy weapons seem to have the crazy precision that uh, your enemies did, your enemies had in Halo 5. So we'll be able to actually properly close in and fight the enemy up close and personal this time, unlike in Halo 5. The, uh, so some of the new weapons look pretty interesting. Uh, apparently there's an article... Uh, that IGN posted that says the new shotgun is replacing the uh, the old the old shotgun. I hope that's not true. And given what we've seen on the Mega Block stuff, that's pr I I really hope it's not true. Uh, I'll expand my thoughts more on that here in a bit. The hey, the infinite gameplay looked pretty cool. So we have the grapple shot as they call it, which is just a grappling hook. A, Calling it the grapple shot is kind of a bit presumptuous, because it's literally a grappling hook. They could have just called it the grapple, or and that would have been fine. Uh, the, the actual art style of the game actually kind of reminded me of Breath of the Wild, weirdly enough. Uh, the kind of the mixture of a bit realistic proportions, but a cartoony coloration, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm kind of hoping to kind of go for more of the realistic side of things, more along the lines of what the previous Halo games were, were about. And obviously the flat textures and the relatively flat lighting in the actual demo, I presume, will be fixed by the time the actual game comes out. At least those are my thoughts on the matter. Uh, the Banished look pretty interesting to fight. I'm glad we're, we'll actually have Elites and Brutes fighting side by side. And that will be very interesting to see. I'm very curious to see how they handle the brute, di like the different brute ranks. I didn't notice any energy shielding on the brutes. It looked to me like they actually have 
compartmentalized armor. That's my, my chair squeaking, sorry. Uh, they actually had compartmentalized armor. So, like, uh, shooting the shoulder would break off the shoulder armor. Shooting the chest would break off the chest armor. Shooting the helmet would break off the helmet. And that sort of thing. So you'd have to break off the armor pieces individually before you could actually start dealing direct damage to the brute. Uh, the elites seemingly had their standard energy shielding uh, from the previous games, you know, the normal en elite energy shielding. Jackals seemingly were of the actual old school Halo Comet Evolved designs, the ones with the extra armor plating on their head and on their forearms instead of having the free, like, feathery plumage. Uh, the uh, They also are back to wielding their gun in their... Well... Hmm, it's actually very interesting. I noticed both jackals holding the shields in the left hand and on the right hand. I'm, I'd have to rewatch it, actually, to be sure. I'm sure you can probably notice in the footage that's playing right now, which I'm not actually watching. Go figure. I'm recording this separately. The, um... But old-school jackals are back instead of the velociraptor-looking things they had in Halo 4 and 5. Um... I am. Uh, I noticed actually that they brought back jackals overcharging their plasma sh plasma pistols. There's a short scene in the gameplay where a jackal overchar uses its plasma pistol to overcharge and drain the Master Chief's shields in one shot, and that actually hasn't really been a thing since Halo One. Uh, so I'm actually really curious, to, uh, really glad to see this back. Uh, uh, honestly, there's something I've been kind of missing from Jackals from ever since Halo 1. Because in Halo 2 and 3 and Halo 4 and 5, Jackals wouldn't do that. They would just fire their pistols rapidly at you. Halo 1, they would overcharge their pistols at you to hit you at long range, which is actually really cool. And it'll, it'll give the Jackals an actual tangible threat on the higher difficulties. You know, besides the sniper ones. I presume... Sniper Jackals will make a return in some form, uh, either with some kind of carbine or needle rifle or new, some new weapon to replace that, as well as the proper Sniper Jackals with the beam rifle. I presume they'll come back in some form. Uh, grunts look pretty nice. I'm glad to see the old school Halo 1 through 3 kind of design of the Grunts to make a return, alongside... The Halo 4 and 5 grunts, so having a mixture, a mixing of the two design philosophies is pretty cool. Uh, something I noticed with the animation, uh, th this is with both the grunts and the brutes, is they actually reach behind them to pull a grenade and then throw it. And that's something that in the previous games they didn't do. They would just go to do the throw animation and a grenade would magically appear in their hands. So it's very neat details there. Um... Uh, going back to the weapons, uh, the assault rifle looks fine, even if in the current build of the game they showed that it kind of flat on the actual detail work on the gun. Again, that's prob that's mostly an issue with the actual lighting and shading of the demo build. I assume that's going to be fixed in the later versions. Uh, assault rifle's fine. I'm not a fan of the new pistol. As long as they have the have a more old school Halo Magnum alongside the new pistol, I'll be happy. Apparently, it's a supposed to be like a 10 millimeter pistol instead of the normal 50 cal pistol, which be interesting. Uh, some of the back to the, some of the new weapons. The Ravager is actually probably my favorite new weapon they've shown off. It's a kind of a combination of what what you would imagine a brute would do to a concussion rifle with the right engineering turning the uh it's a burst fire battery powered concussion rifle it's really all it is with the giant bayonet sticking on the front end of it uh i'm really hoping they also bring back the brute shot to have like have the ravager but then you have the brute shot you know i'd have each one could function slightly differently since the Ravager's round seem to arc and it fires in bursts. The brute shot could have sh rounds that fire straight ahead, you know, in, in a direct line, and then 
uh, fire rapidly. You know, obviously magazine fed or whatever. The pulse carbine, I'm kind of iffy on. Uh, it. I like the design of the Pulse Carbine. It does look very nice. Not so much a fan of the implication that it's replacing the Storm Rifle. Because, uh, I mean, admittedly, I'm just not really ever a big fan of the Storm Rifle. But, uh, anyway, it looks fine. P Burst Fire Plasma Rifle. It appears to be a lot more effective at medium range than the Storm Rifle was. And, honestly... That would be pretty neat if it is. The uh, the new Mangler pistol looks very interesting. Uh, kind of a short to mid-range heavy headshot capable heavy round magnum type gun. Uh, actually thinking about it, if the Mangler is a... is They might actually have two different pistol... Well, actually this would be a good bit segue. Uh, something I noticed that they shown off... Oh, actually, real quick before I go to that point. The Commando. The VK-78 Commando or whatever. 20-round, uh, 6.5mm, fully auto. Has apparently a 2 times zoom with this uh, sight thing they showed on it. Although, it does appear to use the standard Halo zoom instead of the aim down sights, like I mentioned earlier. So no no aim down sights. I'll be... I'll, thank God. That doesn't ever need to be in Halo, ever. The... Uh, but going back to the the new system, the the new commando is classed as a tactical tactical rifle kinetic auto. Now, going off of that, we've seen a couple of the other guns. The Ravager was a launcher plasma burst, and then the assault rifle was kinetic or assault. The assault rifle was assault rifle kinetic auto. The uh, Pulse Carbine was Assault Rifle Plasma Burst. Going off of... you Working off of that, this could be uh, the game that has the biggest weapon sandbox out of all of the Halo games. Because they could bring in a lot of different guns that would feature in the a base weapon category, but then has different features that set it, set it apart from other weapons in the same... That's my phone. Other weapons in the same category. So, for instance, you have the assault rifle, which is well, an assault rifle, kinetic auto. You have the uh, plasma carbine, which is assault rifle, plasma burst. They could bring back the uh, plasma repeater, or even bring back the storm rifle. Actually, that would be I would be okay with that, and it would be. Uh, it would be uh, assault rifle plasma auto, so it'd be a fully auto version. You could then bring back uh, the uh, well. They've confirmed the DMR is going to be back, or not the DMR. Sorry, the battle rifle is back. I'm very kind of iffy about the battle rifle. I'm not real sure whether it would fit in with as a tactical rifle or as a assault rifle. Uh, I've always viewed it more as an assault rifle kind of gun, honestly, with the way it fires and stuff. So you could have the normal assault rifle, which would be assault rifle kinetic auto, and then you could have the battle rifle being assault rifle kinetic burst. So that way you'd have the two different styles of assault rifle for each of the main factions. You could even... Admittedly, the battle rifle could just as easily fit in as a tactical rifle kinetic burst instead of being an assault rifle. Um... Like I said, I'm not too iffy about the Commando, but it's in the game, so, you know. Uh, the DMR could be a uh, tactical rifle kinetic uh, semi or single. So as a it's single shot, you fire it semi-automatically. Semi uh, the carb, the, the uh, traditional carbine could be brought back as a tactical rifle. Uh, so that it could be tactical rifle energy... Uh, single or semi-auto, however, however they do that, they could bring back the uh, the needle rifle, and it could actually be slightly different. It could be uh, tactical rifle kinetic auto, because in Halo Reach, the needle rifle was actually fully automatic. You could fight, you pulled down the trigger, and it would fire full auto, not very quickly, but it would. The um, the Let's see, what else? 
Uh, well, the new spike rifle, I think, is in the trailer. I'm not 100% sure. Specifically, it's when the Master Chief is, like, getting into the shade turret. There's a brute that's shooting a gun that shoots these yellow projectiles. We don't ever see a good, don't ever get a good look at what he's holding. I'm pretty sure it's the spike rifle, the the new banished spike rifle, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Uh, the new banished spike rifle could be uh, assault rifle, kinetic, single, or e burst maybe even. I'm not sure. Uh, we do know that SMG is a category because uh, when he goes over the uh, needler, it bri very briefly shows uh, SMG, kinetic, auto. So we know that the uh, needler is considered an SMG, and we going off of that, we could have the... Uh, we could bring, obviously, the traditional Halo SMG, either the Halo 2 and 3 design or the Halo 5 design. Either way, uh, it would be a, a SMG Kinetic Auto. I would like to see Dual Wielding make a return, but that they didn't show it in the gameplay, and I honestly doubt it'll make a return, but it still may be a possibility. Here's hoping. I still, I, I kind of doubt it, though. But uh, it's going on the SMG uh, side. We could bring back the traditional plasma rifle, or even just the brute plasma rifle, but have it be in the SMG category. So they have the uh, have you could even have the regular and the brute plasma rifle. You could even have it so that they each fire a little bit differently. You'd have the normal plasma rifle, which would be SMG plasma auto, and then you could have the brute plasma rifle which would be SMG Plasma Burst, and say fire in quick bursts and deals more damage but overheats way faster. Kind of like the Ravager, which, if you noticed, was overheating after like three three bursts. So I think that would be an interesting way to bring in both of the Plasma Rifles and have them be a little bit differently. Um, we could possibly even see the Halo 3 ODST silenced SMG. Uh, I'm not sure how it could be... Um, I would like to see it in the SMG category. It might even be thrown in the tactical rifle category because the SMG was much more of a rifle type weapon in ODST than it was as an actual SMG. But who knows? Um, the Mangler, we didn't see the descriptors for it, so I presume pistol. However, if they have the if they have pistol and Magnum as separate weapon categories. You could have the sidekick as the human pistol, but then you could have, say, the M60 Magnum, or like the Halo, th the what Halo 3 Magnum, or whatever the proper Halo Magnum in the Magnum category, which would deal more damage, but have uh, maybe even eight rounds in a magazine, or it could still have 12, but you could carry less ammo on hand and fire a little bit slower, but deal a lot more damage per shot, kind of like the Mangler. The Mangler being a brute magnum, and then you have the plasma pistol, which is a plasma pistol. We, I think it was shown, it was pistol plasma charge, so as you have the overcharge ability. Again, not 100% certain on the exact specifics on how these weapons are being characterized. I don't know if they're actually have like categories of weapons or if they're just giving each individual weapon a base description with three three main uh, descriptors i don't know uh it would be very cool though if we could implement all sorts of different weapons from across the halo games and bring them all together into one game that would be really fun they don't necessarily all like some weapons would naturally overlap obviously I doubt we'll see, like, two different types of assault rifle. I think we'll just have the one assault rifle, and then we'll have, like, another human-style gun that fits the assault rifle category, but it functions differently. So, like, for instance, the saw could be assault rifle, but it obviously functions a bit differently as more of a power weapon. Launcher is a very broad term, something... That, you follow me with here. This is more of a rambling video, so I apologize. Um, the uh, launcher term, which we've only seen attributed to the Ravager, 
could include, on starting with the Covenant side of things, include this new Ravager, you can include the Brute Shot, the Fuel Rod Cannon, Plasma Caster, uh, Plasma Launcher from Halo Reach, actually, and the Concussion Rifle. All of these could be weapons implemented in Halo Infinite, each operating a little bit differently. Uh, they could even make the Brute Shot function more like it did in Halo 2 to make it a bit more threatening. More damage, but less number of rounds in each uh, belt, as it were. They could even bring in some new Covenant anti-armor, like, Banished-style rocket launcher. Because the Banished, being the Brutes, they actually use ballistic weapons. And it would be something different from previous Covenant anti-armor stuff. You know, something different from just the Fuel Rod Cannon, which has been mostly the same since Halo 2, really. Halo 5's reload, the, the way the actual gun was shaped and they reloaded it was a little different, but it still functioned exactly the same. <laughs> the, uh... The... On the human side of things, you could have the Grenade Launcher from Halo Reach, the Sticky Detonator from Halo, uh, Halo 4, actually, the Hydra Launcher from Halo 5, and uh, maybe even some new weapon uh, that we haven't really seen before. And each one could have functioned a little bit differently. Obviously, the Grenade Launcher indirect fire has the EMP grenade ability. The Sticky Detonator has a much more powerful explosive. It can guaranteed kill a player in one shot, but it's also... If I recall, it was also pretty effective against hunters and vehicles. It was that, it was that powerful. And then the uh, Hydra Launcher is very good uh, against enemies and light vehicles out in the open. So that would be very interesting. Uh, I do hope they bring back the old school shotgun. So the new Bulldog shotgun is kind of a mid, more a lesser damage but slightly longer range shotgun, while the old school shotgun is more damage but uh, lower range. It's an idea. Here's hoping. The um, Back to the launcher idea. Uh, have the rocket launcher obviously be a launcher weapon. They could also implement, uh, hopefully, the, the original Halo rocket launcher, not the bazooka tube thing in Halo 5. Um, I'm not real sure what the Spartan laser would be, because it's not a launcher. You're not launching anything. But anyway... Those are my ideas as far as the weapon sandbox. Uh, as far as equipment, I have no idea, honestly. There, that's such a broad range of stuff that you can implement. I mean, we've we've seen uh, the we've seen the grapple shot, which is the grappling hook thing. We've seen this drop shield, which creates or a uh, drop wall or shield wall thing that you can shoot through, but your enemies can't. So that's very much like the deployable cover from Halo Three. I would actually kind of like to see the old school bubble shield make a return as a sort of a ultimate defense but you can't shoot out sort of device. And the power drain would be kind of interesting. Although this new Tesla lightning grenade thing that was shown in the gameplay trailer, I'm not really sure what that's about. It would be kind of interesting to see what that is. And uh, as far as anything else, honestly, the sky's the limit. They could even implement a jetpack as a form of equipment, but it would have a limited fuel capacity. So you could only fly with it for so long, and then you would have to drop it. That would That's something I still kind of hope happens, because jetpacks are awesome, in my opinion. That's honestly my favorite armor ability from Halo Reach. So, And uh, that's about it, really, as far as this, this uh, video goes. I'm going to end it here. Uh, overall, pretty promising, I think. Uh, the graphics is something that I think they can hopefully fix by the time the actual game releases. The music sounds good. Some of the weapon sounds are a bit kind of eh, but I can live with that. And honestly, fighting the Banished sounds pretty fun. So, thank you everybody for watching and for listening to me ramble on about God knows what. I'll have to... <laughs> Ugh, it's been a long day, so... Anyway, thank you for watching, and I shall uh, see you all in the next video. Take care.